Thanks, Ricky. Now we switch gears to something that's not as publicized as cycling, but is keeping Central Texans active just the same, and that's jujitsu. It's a sport that's gaining momentum. You've probably seen ultimate fighting champions use the style of martial arts to win. It's a complete form of self-defense and it's also martial art. Clear this out and I catch this. At Ralston Gracie Jiu-Jitsu in South Austin, you'll see fighters testing their skills against each other. And amid them, Shama Ko, a tiny girl with a tough attitude and an ability to make even the toughest guy give up, or tap out as they call it. They're not that intimidating to you at all? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I've, of course, you know, they're larger, so just typically you're like, oh, they're really big, and I'm kind of small. And But the great part about jiu-jitsu is that you don't have to be big. You don't have to be strong to succeed. What you do need is skill and technique. Ko has that, winner of the 2009 Pan American Jiu-Jitsu Championships. So basically, I have your grips here. We're struggling back and forth. I tried to get her to teach me a trick or two, but it turns out jujitsu is not my calling. I just didn't know it was going to <laughs> But it is hers. She says those who give it a chance will see improvements physically and mentally. And now you're in a position to attack. Jujitsu has offered me a sense of self confidence and self reliance that I don't think I had over my leg. While some see it as a violent sport, squid. those who spend hours learning the ins and outs say that's not the case. We're totally against violence. Uh, any of my students ever get in fights on the street, that's not, that's not acceptable at all. I start running around. What is acceptable here is a willingness to learn and desire to protect yourself. And if you're like Ko, you might find a chance to prove sometimes it takes brains, not brawn, to win a fight.